Welcome back, everyone. Third time I'm recording this. I will not say um, and I will talk slowly. I promise. All right, so today we're going to talk about making org mode your default mode in Emacs. And why would you want to do that? Let's get into it. All right, so the background here is I was watching a Google talk given by Karsten Dominic, who, as you may already know, is the creator of org mode. And he was talking about the genesis of the project and what kind of need he wanted it to fulfill. And he was talking about how he found it so useful that he made it his default mode instead of fundamental mode. And that was one of these head exploding moments for me where I asked myself, why didn't I think of that? You know, why haven't I done that yet? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. The TLDR, basically, for files that don't have a specific mode already, you can set org mode as your default mode. So any file you open that would be otherwise blank will load org. And while I was preparing for this video, I just did a little bit of reading on the major modes in Emacs, something I probably glanced over many years ago in the documentation um, and actually took some time to read more closely today. And it's actually pretty interesting uh, when you think about it. So Emacs defaults to something called fundamental mode uh, for files that don't have a mode specified. And you'll notice this when you're new to Emacs, if you sort of jump into a, a blank buffer or you open a file that doesn't have an extension, you'll see in the mode line, it would say fundamental. So what's that all about? As far as I can tell, basically, that's only because every buffer in Emacs must have some mode assigned to it that it opens. You must be in some mode at all times. And fundamental mode really has no specific modality or variables or key bindings or anything like that. It's not even like plain text mode. So for example, if you open up Sublime or Gedit or any popular text editor, you're pretty much in a basic text editing mode. You know, you can just type some plain text, save it, do what you want with it. And then once you open up an HTML file, or a, a Python file, you might see some syntax highlighting, maybe you have more options, things start to change a little bit. So fundamental mode isn't even like that. It's not even a, a plain text mode. Emacs has a plain text mode, which is called text mode. So uh, a little sidebar here, uh, basically, Emacs breaks down uh, major modes into three sort of master groups. You've got the first one, which is the, the text modes which would be for editing plain text files or markup like HTML and um, markdown, LaTeX. Um, so you see here, these are some of the text modes. The programming modes would be things, of course, for like Lisp or C or Python or any programming languages. And then you also have non-file modes, you know, like for DRED, the directory editor, uh, message mode for sending email, and, you know, the various shell modes uh, for your shell interpreters and things like that. And um, of course, it's, it's really obvious in DRED, like when you pop into that, you know, all the key bindings change and you have different options, um, you know, very much like in, in all these other modes. So the reason I mention that is it's, it's good to kind of know about these master modes, uh, because as you are customizing your Emacs experience, um, it can be helpful to keep your configuration simple um, if, for example, every time you want to come into any of these text modes, you can run a function like um, turning on fly spell mode, which will check your spelling, uh, or any list of functions that you might want for any of these. And so I think that's helpful to know, like if you're new into Emacs, uh, how these different modes work together and how you can hook into them and kind of customize your configuration that way. But now we'll move on to the, the meat of the video, what we were talking about at the start, um, setting org mode as your default mode. And it's pretty simple. You can just drop this line here into your init file. It's basically a, a set queue expression here, setting the, the value of the, the major mode variable to org mode. And uh, that'll do it. So anytime you go into a file that will, you know, doesn't have any specific extension already, or um, any sort of plain text buffer, it will load org mode instead of uh, fundamental mode. And an alternative, uh, if you didn't want to do something as drastic as, as changing the, the default mode, um, you can have this, uh, this option here. Uh, you have this, uh, this add to list function here, which basically this would allow you to say, 
any file name that matches uh, this regular expression you know please load this mode so this was an example where i wanted any file that ended with a dot draft extension to open up org mode so those were when i was building my website with uh, with org mode any dot org file would be turned into html any dot draft file would be um, ignored so it would just be a draft that i was working on and then i would switch the extension uh, so that's also something that you can do and that's how some of the other modes in emacs work when you open up different files uh, so that's also good to know uh, but there you have it that is how you can use org mode as your default mode in emacs ascend to the next level of org mode mastery by actually making it your default well so i'll just drop the video there and if you all have any questions or comments as always feel free to leave them below and i will talk to you all next time